In the middle of June, the annual conference of the Desert Southwest Conference met in Glendale, as it does every year, where approximately 600 clergy and laity gathered to talk about and celebrate the ministries of what's happening in the state of Arizona, Southern Nevada, and the California River Cities. A lot of great celebration happened, discussion, uh, not so much controversy, but holy conversations that shared how God is working within our annual conference. We had three delega delegates go from First Church, and they're here with us today to share with you some of those experiences. Some highlights for me from annual conference were celebrating raising $2 million for Imagine No Malaria, the opportunity to celebrate with those who are being commissioned and ordained as elders in the church. And finally, the most meaningful thing to me would be when we had the opportunity to stand up together as a conference and engage in discussion about including everyone in the life of the church, truly having open minds, open hearts, and open doors to all. Uh, I really enjoyed the annual conference this year for two specific reasons. First reason is I like the idea and the notion of us as a church getting out of the building, going out in the community, and doing things. So it's time to get out there and and uh, become part of the community. The other thing that I thought was amazing was Bishop Bob's conversation about um, including all people in the church and our resolution to uh, the LGBTQ community that uh, we are not going to conform to um, discrimination policies and that we're going to go out there and welcome everyone to our church no matter who they are, uh, what color they are, how they live, uh, or where they're from. Some highlights of annual conference for me were on Saturday, we all wore red and we celebrated 60 years of ordaining women into ministry. We nominated a Episcopal candidate for bishop in the Western jurisdiction, Jody Escobedo Frank. But the biggest thing for me was listening to Bishop Bob's speech in the Saturday laity session. He gave an inspiring message of inclusivity and hope for the future followed by the youth and Stephen Govet beginning the afternoon lady session with a resolution um, to hear the young people speak for their views in front of a group that large was inspiring. The resolution itself brings inclusivity to our LGBTQ friends and family allows them to become clergy, allows them to be married, it allows our clergy to perform such weddings without fear of losing their jobs, losing their incomes, and hurting their families. To me, in my five years of annual conferences now, it was the biggest thing that's happened so far, and I am proud to be United Methodist today. annual conference ended on Sunday, a couple weeks ago. We always end by celebrating communion together as a large community of people. You can imagine how do you feed 600 people in a matter of just five minutes. It was well accomplished, but it's not a matter of just those elements that bring people together. It really was the word and the grace shared by our bishop as we heard a word to go forth and to infuse the very love of God before our churches and our community, that in the very act of being the body of Christ, we are a living communion. Maybe the frustration is coming back home now from this mountaintop experience and sharing that with you, our congregation, and how you too are part of the infusion of Jesus Christ in our community. This is a conversation that is beginning now and will continue in the months and I think some years ahead, but will take us far, far, far from where we've come. I'm excited about this, not only as your pastor, but also as a fellow believer that walks alongside with you. Thank you for this time. Thank you for allowing us to represent you at annual conference this year. And we look forward to sharing more with you of our faith story.